The Louisiana House Education Committee wants relocated students to return to the Pelican State and looks to extend TOPS to do so. It's something that I feel as a legislator when people come to me and ask me for assistance and help. If I can help them, that's what I feel like my job is. In his way of helping, Representative Steve Carter sponsored House Bill 243, which, quote, provides relative to the eligibility of certain students who graduate from certain out-of-state or out-of-country high schools to receive a TOPS award. Representative John Bell Edwards says the bill would help Louisiana high school graduates with an international baccalaureate diploma return home for graduate school, as long as they met criteria such as earning a 23 on the ACT. Maybe they were at a Department of Defense school in some other country because their parents were, one of their parents was is in the service and, and, and deployed. We filed the bill to try to enable those youngsters to do uh, receive an IV uh, certificate uh, would be considered for TOPS. Uh, and, and like I said, you have to meet all the other criteria. House Bill 243, which still faces deliberation here at the state capitol, could affect students from outside Louisiana. I pay a lot of money and I work really hard, but I know that I'm still going to end up in a lot of debt. Anya Barishbol is an out-of-state student from Texas who feels the expansion of TOPS shouldn't stop with House Bill 243, even if others disagree. I understand like wanting to keep your own talent in Louisiana, but at the same time, a university and an academic institution should focus more on uh, just the talent of students, no matter where they're from. There are other ways that youngsters who are from out-of-state can receive uh, financial aid, but not through TOPS, so I would not uh, be in favor of that. House Bill 243 will be represented this Wednesday for a vote. Patrick Clay, WLSU News.